So Subside Electronics, we're based out of Perry, Oklahoma. Uh, we manufacture line locating equipment, HGD tracking equipment, uh, and utility inspection equipment. We're a sister company of Ditchwich and, and distribute our products through the Ditchwich dealership distribution network. There's a few reasons why it's so important to have tracer wire with uh, uh, infrastructure or our assets in the ground. Number one, first and foremost, is safety. Uh, uh, we want to be able to locate that asset that's in the ground uh, days or years after, after the installation is complete. Uh, so any other contractor, any other type of engagement of the ground that happens later on down the road, we'll be able to, to properly locate that utility, make sure that we don't have any, any damages. So there are three major steps when you're setting up this type of locate that's important. Number one has to deal with the transmitter. You have a good ground. Uh, when you have a good ground on the multimeter, you want to check a couple of different things on the multimeter. You want to make sure that you have the lowest ohms reading possible. Uh, the low ohms is a measurement of the resistance of the, of, the, uh, of the line that you've installed. The lower the ohms, the better. Number two has to do with the transmitter and the receiver, and that's choosing a frequency that's large enough to get a good locate, but not so large that it's going to want to bleed onto other adjacent utilities. Number three, finally, you want to make sure that the locate that you're completing, you take it to a terminus that makes sense. So what you don't want to do is start locating your target line or your tracer wire and end up on another utility uh, where you shouldn't be. So always locate the utility from point A to point B that makes sense. So that's still a good mark. That one out there. So I don't know if this goes straight down or it if it does. The okay. Idea is to drill, into the drill right. Yeah, yeah, drill drop dead center the into it. It's going to be at the bottom of the pipe. The camera's at the bottom of the pipe. Okay. So we'll so pick it. So we got six inches, and I tell you, it's it's a three feet. You know, you want to come up a little bit, a little bit shallower. Okay. Yeah. Just give him that, and he'll bring right to it. And then, awesome. do you want him over here? How like? How far in does your camera let, sit? Let me, well, it's right here. I mean, let me, we'll go in there and we'll see back where the, where the old pipe's at. Yeah. Because it goes PVC to clay. So we want to see back to where we're going to be at. I mean, we're basically right there. You can see, this, you can see it right there. Okay. So, so I mean, if, I, if you want to come right here, that'd be perfect. And what depth do we need to be at right there? 23, 24 inches. Are you okay at staying at two and a half feet the whole way? Yeah, that's fine. And two and a half, they got a, a centralizer on it. So we oh, want to okay. be at two and a half. Okay. okay. Good deal? Yep. So one of the major reasons it's important to have uh, an inspection of tracer wire after the installation is too many times after or during the pullback of the product in the tracer wire, there will be a fault or that, that wire will actually pull apart. So in that scenario, the contractor leaves and it's impossible to uh, track them down and subsequently impossible to actually locate that utility after the fact. So doing a bore and then doing a post-bore inspection of uh, the quality of that tracer wire is critical.